That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's he's hilarious in this. I think um, Cheyenne is, is is funny in this also, but he's kind of more like the serious uh, one in the in the relationship. But what's the character that for you that stood out the most, or, or that you kind of enjoyed the most? Honestly, uh, and I had no idea that she was our actual killer. So spoiler. If anybody's listening to this and you and you and you want to watch it with a, you know, a fresh slate, um, uh, but C- Cecily was yeah yeah she stuck out to me right f- from the very beginning when uh, Sam, God uh, Finn uh, Finn is his name in the film yeah our our part our forest ranger uh, gets to this town for the first time and he walks into the to the cabin. And he looks over at Cecily, like, for, you know, to, like, like, where do I go? And she just, like, kind of points with her newspaper. Oh, she, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that's, uh, I was like, oh, yeah, she's going to be something, something, you know, like a fun character in this. And, uh, and she is. And I love, there's this, that, that scene that sticks out to me when, um, she's obviously, uh, plays into kind of light taking to him and they kind of hit it off or at least he thinks yeah. they do and uh when they go back to like the arcade or whatever it is um this like game room and she takes off like her uniform and everything and actually puts real clothes on like the mood changes and he's like oh shit like <laughs> this girl's really good looking you know and they um yeah I really, uh, I really enjoyed how they convey that, but like subtly, you know. Yeah, they're about to kiss, and then he, he's like, "Oh, hold on." Yeah, he answers the phone call from his ex, and she's just like, "What the? Like, are you serious right now?" Like, she's super yeah. offended by it. But then I think Finn, throughout this whole thing, is just like a genuinely nice guy, you know? Yeah. Even yeah, like at the end, he's like. Is it such a fucking crime to just be a nice fucking person? He's like, I just want to be a nice person. He's like, is that okay? He's like, it's not. It's not wrong to be nice all the time. <laughs> because um, so we figure out through everything through the storm and 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 all the red herrings. You know, we think it's several yeah. people, and then even though in the back of our mind we're like, no way that it's actually them because that's too obvious. There's no way. Right. Yep. That's what I was thinking the whole time. Like it, it can't be, because that the, you're, you you have a feeling of this movie. It's 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 written too smartly to just you know give away give away something like that so easily. And uh, yeah, you don't see uh, basically even though it's almost right in your face, you don't see that. Yeah. Cecily is 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 basically she's been the werewolf the whole time, killing off everybody, and her her whole thing was well now she gets. Um, she basically has the whole town to feed on through the winter um, until everything thaws out and then she can go off on her way um, to some other unsuspecting town. I'm assuming that was her plan the whole time. Yeah, and um, she's... Cecily, I guess, is like slowly trying to get everybody to break... like break their psyche in a sense and, and turn everybody against each other. So they're offing each other, and then she's feeding on them, and then she gets annoyed because Finn's character is like he's so nice that he won't he won't break. You know, what I mean, he refuses. Yeah. He will not give in to her like master plan. And then we have a uh, uh, Cecily and, and Finn, and that's when we get to the conclusion when they go back to the. Uh, to the bar, like the bar slash arcade slash uh, axe throwing place, um, and um, and he starts to put two and two together, and because he he finds all the missing uh, packages and and there's like wallets and and you know IDs of, of some of the people who have gone missing earlier, you know, previous to the film, uh, for where we start well I'll start off with the film and. Um, I think she even she even says that she she had a plan to uh, change Finn right into into a werewolf also. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and that's when uh, 
Emerson's the guy who lives up in the mountain. So Emer- that's when Emerson comes up and he he's the one who uh, knocks her out with the shovel. Yeah, and which she, she, well, there's this big dramatic, like, they have words and then Cecily starts to change and it's pr- pretty much practical practical yeah. effects and she like fully changes and then um emerson comes like out of nowhere and knocks her out with the with the shovel and then they you know they're he's talking with finn and they're just like having a little laugh and even though they know that she's probably not dead and then she comes uh she comes alive and takes basically bites emerson right yeah and that's when like the kind of chaos ensues and a big there's like this big fight where she did, did you did you see that uh, uh, Finn stabs her with the the snow boots? Yes. I was like, how how ironic is that for him to be talking about the whole that the whole time? He's like, man, if we had some snow, uh, if we what, what are they called? Snow? Uh, are they just snow boots? Not snow boots. They're called snow something, right? Those ones where you can, they're like, they look like, like they, they look like, uh, like tennis rackets yes, or something. Yes. Yeah, but the whole time, the whole throughout the whole film, he brings up those those uh, snow. Uh, the name escapes me. Um, I forget what they're called. I'm just gonna call them snow boots. I know that's, that's not what they're called, but he calls it the whole time. He's just bringing up snow boots, and she's like, "Man, you and snow boots, you just you really got a heart on for these snow boots." And then, He's always bringing them up. He's like, man, if we had some snow boots, you know, we could, we could, uh, we could uh, leave this town pretty easy, you know. It's, it's not that hard. And then uh, he ends up killing her with them, um, you know, uh, with the broken end of, of one of the, the snow, snow boots, whatever they're called. And then, uh, but he he thinks she's dead, but she's not. Well, you have to think about the mythology of the the werewolf, which I was, <clears throat> I thought he really did kill her, and I was like, oh, okay, so they're playing against. The, the kind of tropes of the genre but then they they get you because it's like what he stabbed her with wasn't silver right well, yeah yeah and so she she's basically they think she's dead but she's able to revive herself you know and she pulls out the <laughs> the, the boot or whatever it's called i forget but he, she pulls it out from her neck and it's like they do this kind of rack focus where it's focused on Finn and um, and Emerson. And she's out of focus and she kind of sits up and takes the, 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 the boot out of her neck and like yeah. jumps out of frame. And then she, oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then she um, she drops. She starts to drop down on them. And then she's shot with uh, one of the arrows. And yeah, because they're joking. They're like, oh, man, let's go to Janine's and get some sandwiches. You think we can... Uh... They're like, oh... Emerson's like, oh, are you hungry? He's like, I'm starving. And he's like, yeah, me too. Let's get a... You want a sandwich? Let's go to Janine's. I'm sure she can make us one. And they're, they're kind of laughing. And that's when uh, Cecily is behind them and she jumps. And that's, yeah, that's when she gets hit with the arrow. And then she's... Uh, Janine's like, make your own goddamn sandwiches. <laughs> And then it cuts to you know it cuts the black and then the credits roll. But I thought that was a it was a pretty good ending. Um, so does that? I mean, I would assume that means Emerson will turn into a werewolf now. Yeah, because he was bitten. If they're playing by the yeah. rules, if you get scratched or bitten, you the the curse is passed on. Which is funny yeah. that I don't know if they just is Finn just Glass unaware of that, or they're setting yeah. setting up a sequel. I'm not sure. But uh, I know people who kind of pay attention to details like us. I think the I think that now we're wondering that. I mean, I, I I was thinking that during the movie, and I'm like, oh, he's gonna be a, he's gonna be the next man, uh, the next uh, werewolf now. But I wonder, like, if the curse is passed on, does that turn you evil as well? Like, yeah, Cecily had her own agenda, but say Emerson does become a werewolf, but he just lives up there and is whatever. He's already a hunter or whatnot. Like. Are you able to kind of harness that kind of power and 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 just you know not hurt people or whatever? <laughs> yeah, I'd assume I'd assume so because I know that's what uh, Cecily said. She tried to do that back in the last town that she was at, but uh, it was too much. It was too exhausting. Yeah, that's what she says, right? She's like, yeah, I di- I tried to just hunt like animals and stuff, and that shit was exhausting or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
what about Marcus, uh, the the kind of like the stupid mechanic guy or whatever he was, and he the Freddy Krueger hand that he had with yeah. the tape and the knives. <laughs> it's, he's he's, like, yeah, I got my, my knife hands. He's basically like, oh, we're gonna fucking rob all these places and then stage it to look like a werewolf, like uh, a werewolf did it. <laughs> yeah, he's like. Maybe I am a werewolf. Maybe you're a werewolf. Are there such thing as part-time werewolves? Do I have a job during the day? Oh my god, that was like some of these lines are hilarious. Like you don't, it's just it's funny. I think, like I said, a lot of these people. I mean, I feel like the uh, the writers really did uh, let these guys shine in everything that they in everything that was said and did in this in this movie. No one fell short of. of uh, no one felt greater than anybody else. In, in my opinion, I feel like everyone had their part to play, and they were all uh, they were all great in it. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those movies that is like like an offbeat comedy, and you have all yeah. of these quirky characters, and they all do they do their thing perfectly, you know. And, and mm-hmm. they create and they add to the experience. There's nothing here that I had a problem with. Nothing that bothered me at all. Totally made sense. And what's funny yeah. is that. I didn't, um, I didn't under, I didn't realize that this was taken uh, from a video game. Yeah, I didn't either. And then when I looked into the video game, the video game, no offense to Ubisoft, but it kind of seems like lame <laughs> compared <laughs> to the movie. Because the, the, the video game, it's like the premise is set in the medieval times and they're just trying to figure out who is the who is the werewolf but then you look at the animation and it's like this kind of goofy ass like um animated style um okay that just does not um i don't know does it just does not look appealing i've never played it but i saw (laughs) you know bits and pieces here while doing the research uh, yeah. for for you know the show tonight, and I was just like, man, what? Like, who was like, yes, let's make a movie from this game. <laughs> yeah, this shitty game, but we'll make it better. I think IGN oh. gave it like a two point five out of five or something rating. Oh my god! <laughs> but you know, granted, maybe they just took a. F- a few things here and there. Obviously, I said the, the the premise for the video game is set in medieval times, and for this one, they they opted to make it modern or contemporary. And I think that that was a that was a big um, plus in their favor. And also, there isn't too many uh, references to the games. Uh, they're not doing anything like cheesy, trying to you know call back to the game or anything like that. Like it's its own entity, you know. Right which is uh, which is awesome um uh, what would you uh, rate this film i still i'll i'll, I'll give it a 7.5 okay yeah i was i was i was like around there too i was thinking like uh, uh almost an eight so pretty close i could say like 7.9 not not quite an eight almost there um you know right on, right on the cusp for me um from that seven to eight difference where it's like it's uh it was it was it was good it's entertaining but it wasn't it didn't wow me right yeah yeah for sure yeah and it's not a knock on it at all it, like I, like you just said it, it's entertaining it's fun if you want to if uh, if you're you know watching so if you want to see something that's gonna you know make you laugh a couple of times and kind of keep you entertained this is definitely a, definitely a good watch or definitely a good a good pick to kind of uh help you kill an hour and a half and it's not it's not a very long movie like i think it's like an hour and 35 yeah yeah it's it's uh the pacing's great it it, you know gets the job done and and takes you through in a timely manner i thought this would be a good one uh, for us to do no yeah yeah it was it's it's uh definitely end of kind of switches up gears you know going from vintage to contemporary because we're gonna go next week i don't know i don't think we've announced this officially on the show yet but so next week is halloween right or next next sunday will be halloween and uh so 
which means that Chris Pollock will be back on the show for his monthly takeover. And uh, so to end October the right way,